Ok, so I think a lot of you are going to be able to figure this mess problem out. It's not that difficult, the problem is 6 plus 6 times 6 minus 6. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, we have simple addition, multiplication and subtraction, so it looks like a pretty basic, pretty basic problem. And we want to get this down to one value. Ok, uh, now we do want to use our calculator, so put those calculators away and we just want to use that supercomputer in our head, this is much better. And again, this shouldn't be too difficult problem, but there's a couple of things here, some of you are going to make a very common error and of course, I'll think about all this in just one minute, but I'm to give you, I don't want to give you too many hints, as I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem. So right now, choose one option, what do you think is correct, and write your option down into the comment section, we will check our answers here in just one minute. It, it will be it will be really interesting. So obviously whatever order of operation right here we select is going to create a different answer, right? And there are three types of people, okay? Three types of students. So first interpretation, okay? Let's look at it. So first interpretation, first type of people solve this question like that. Here is our challenge. So we have 6 plus 6 times 6 minus 6. These types of people uh, don't know about order of operation, they solve this question randomly, so they start, for example, from the left-hand side, we have 6 plus 6 equal to 12, yeah? times we have 6 minus 6 on the right hand side equal to equal to 0. So it looks like a correct answer is 0. So one first type of students told this question like that. This is this is 0 option A. Another part of students told this question like that. They solved this question uh, like that. So we have the second interpretation. So 6 plus 6 times 6 minus 6. They start from the left hand side. We have 6 plus 6 equal to 12. Then we have this expression times 6 minus 6. Okay. And right now now, no, uh, from the left-hand side, once more, we have 12 times 6 equal to 72, yeah, and minus 6, which is equal to 60, 66. We have this option, this is option, option C. We have two interpretation, and uh, one part of people solve this question like that, another part of people solve this question like that, but there is the third type of people. The third type of people know about order of operation, they know how can we solve this correctly, and step by step. And I wanted to rewrite this question, so we have 6 plus 6 times 6, minus 6. Uh, this type of people know about order of operation, and if you look closely, what is order of operation? This is like mm, the steps right here, so first we should evaluate parentheses, so the parentheses have the highest priority, then exponent, then evaluate multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction, okay? So right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC, and let's check with this answer, because right here we have 66, we don't know about it, maybe this is correct or not correct, right here we had 0, so not correct or correct, I don't know exactly, but right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC. Let's look at it. So what steps do we have right here? We have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, but let's scan what elements we have right here. So we have addition, multiplication, and subtraction. So let's reject what do we have. We don't have parentheses, so we reject it. We don't have exponent, we reject it. We have multiplication, yeah, we have it, okay, multiplication, and we don't have division sign, we have addition sign, yeah, right here we have addition sign, and we don't, we have, like, yeah, we have subtraction, okay, so we have multiplication sign, we have addition sign, and we have we have subtraction sign. This is really important moment. Right now we should scan what what uh, operation have the higher priority, okay? So parentheses the highest priority, but we don't have parentheses. Exponent, the higher priority than multiplication, but we don't have exponent. So the first step is to multiply our uh, expression that we have right here. So where do we have this multiplication? We have multiplication right here in the middle. So we should start from this, from this multiplication, okay? So let's do this. So we have 6 plus 6 times 6 equal to 36, and we have this minus 6. Right now we complete this multiplication part and we go to addition and subtraction part, okay? And if we scan, uh, right here we have a very simple expression, so we don't need this order of operation anymore. We have addition and subtraction, so we add it from left to right. We have 6 plus 6 equal to 36 and minus 6. Is 6 plus 6 equal to 42, sorry, and 42 minus 6 equal to equal to 36, and this is option, option B. And right now I show you three approaches, first approach, second approach, and the third approach. And what is the correct one? What do you think about it? Three solutions, what is the correct one? And I really hope that you choose option 
B, which is absolutely correct because we solved it according to a correct order of operation, which is really important in terms of math. What about this order? What about this operation right here? What about this order of operation? Let's look closely to this first one. First one is very bad solution because we start with addition, we end with multiplication, which is really bad because as I told before, addition and subtraction is our last step. So we should start with this multiplication and then addition and subtraction in a strict order from left to right. So this is absolutely wrong solution. But with one really interesting note for me, take a look closely. If you put brackets, if you put parentheses, then this question will be great for us because we should start from this parentheses. Then six plus six, the first step, yeah? We should start from this parentheses and then this one gives us zero. So right here, a correct order is a correct answer is zero, but with parentheses. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so option A, zero is absolutely wrong in our case. With parentheses, okay, this is good. We start from these parentheses, 12, we start from this one, zero, and then the last step, multiplication. Right here in this case, division, uh, right here in this case, addition and subtraction will, will have like the higher priority than multiplication because this is inside parentheses. So addition and subtraction inside parentheses, parentheses have the highest priority priority. Okay, let's go to the next question. Let's go to the next case. Right here we had this 66. So I really hope that you don't choose this option, option C, uh, which is really bad in our case, because we, as I, as I told before, addition right here is before multiplication. You need to put brackets. If you put brackets, then okay, 6 plus 6 equal to 12, the higher priority. This is good for us with parentheses. In our case, we don't have parentheses. As you can see, we have a regular expression without any without any parentheses. So we just skip this part. We don't have any, any parentheses. So option C is absolutely wrong. Finally, our third, third interpretation, we have our expression. We go through PMDMC order of operation. We find this multiplication, addition, and subtraction part right here. And multiplication is all the time before addition and subtraction. So we should multiply it first, then add or subtract, which is, which is really good, really good in our case. And right here, a correct answer is 36. I want to show you a really great trick right here because as you can see we have 6 and we have minus 6 so we can easily cancel this yeah this is like a really great trick so the correct answer will be will be 36 only multiplication so we hope you understand my explanation if you don't trust me you can easily check it in your uh, scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use your regular calculator because sometimes happen that, uh, you know, that calculator not works with problem as you type it in. So sometimes you type this problem, for example, six plus six, your calculator gives you instantly 12 and then 12 times six, uh, 72 and 72 minus 6 equal to 66. So sometimes maybe 50% of calculators solve this question as you type it in. So if you want to check it, you should use something sophisticated like scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use your regular calculator because sometimes happen that calculator works with problem as you type it in. So you type this problem, 6 plus 6, and so calculators gives you, uh, instantly give you 12, and then 12 times 6 equal to 72, so something like that, second case. It happens sometimes, some calculators don't know how to work with, uh, with that question because they don't see uh, the whole expression. They don't know about uh, what, do you find, what do you want to write uh, further, okay? They say, okay, addition, we add it, but you should put, uh, you should plug in the whole entire expression, just plug in the whole expression, and then in calculator, see, okay, multiplication we have, we have addition, subtraction, so right now, multiplication first, because your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operation. So this is my explanation to this to this question. If you made this error, I'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again. You'll be like, oh, now I get it. So let's go ahead and apply the order of operations. Now pretty the stuff. So here is our problem. So anytime you face like a numeric expression, you'll get better at this through practice. You see expression, option, and PMDMC, and you solve this question, you solve this question step by step. Okay, definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Now, if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concepts, subscribe to my channel. I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. If you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish all the best. And if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe. As that definitely helped me out now for this for this particular video. So have a great day. See you in the next videos.